Altrincham, how are you doing? We very nearly didn't make it here tonight. We've had some shocking issues here when we arrived in the studio. Electricity issues, John sort it out, this lighting is shocking. Phone issues, you might have tried to call or text us the, the number we put on the page a little earlier today. Uh, unfortunately, we seem to have a, a problem with that number. So if you'd like to join in tonight, you can comment with us on the Facebook page uh, in the comments there. Uh, we need to sort that number out. We will. We are expecting a call a little later on uh, as we move on to another subject. Uh, we will be able to take that call, but uh, just remains to be seen. Let's let's see how we go on, hey? So hi, Altrincham. What have we been up to? Um, it was another Wednesday with Andy. Uh, it's only our third Wednesday. We're still getting into our stride. I'm not entirely sure where we're going with these things. Uh, yeah, this is producers even having problems here. It's a shocking night tonight, but we're, we're, we're getting there. So yeah, the third Wednesday live with Andy. Um, a little different to what we do with Chris on a Sunday. Uh, with Chris it's a little bit more of a, a mess around. Um, I do believe you'll be able to catch up with Chris tomorrow night for another walk around with him. And again, Chris and myself will be here on, on Sunday. But... Uh, we have a special subject tonight that I'm going to move on to, but before we do, I'd just like to mention a couple of local things about Altrincham. Uh, first of all, uh, well done to the people who are, uh, as we speak, they're out in the, mid in the centre of Altrincham doing a litter pick for Altrincham in Bloom, ahead of the judges visiting Altrincham for North West in Bloom tomorrow. Uh, Altrincham News is joining in that, will be giving logistical support to Altrincham in Bloom throughout the day, uh, easing the judges' visit to Altrincham as they wander around and look at all the work that Altrincham in Bloom has been doing. Uh, you can't miss it. I said yesterday, uh, no I didn't, I said on the last live that uh, whenever you stand in Altrincham, just have a look around and there's something there to do with Altrincham in Bloom. And tomorrow the judges from North Western Bloom are coming down and it's the first time that Altrincham has been entered into the finals of North Western Bloom so good luck to them. Uh, we won't get the results on that for a couple of months but we'll certainly let you know. So again, well done to all the people. It was starting to rain when I was outside before. So well done to all them people who were litter picking with Sarah Walmsley tomorrow Altrincham. Good luck for tomorrow. Uh, another thing that was mentioned on the page a little earlier today, there's been some interest in Bentley's fish bar opposite the bus station. Uh, we understand... Okay, we have a call already. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? This is Libby, I understand. Hi, so we're Mascot NCS. We're a group of teenagers who are campaigning to remove the stigma surrounding men's mental health and make it more acceptable for men to open up to one another. We're specifically targeting men's mental health in our campaign because we as a group feel they're overlooked and there's a lot of pressure on them to be the stereotypical tough guy. So a lot of men feel like they're not allowed to feel vulnerable and are too embarrassed to ask for help. As a result of this, they don't get the help they need and their mental illnesses are often misdiagnosed. Throughout the next week, we'll be making a couple of PSA videos on the subject, which will be posted to our social media account. We're on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram as NCS underscore mascot. Then next Friday, we'll be doing a sponsored run around Manchester in Fancy Dress. We'll have a Just Giving page set up for that shortly, as we're still trying to partner up with an established charity. It would be great if everybody listening could follow our social media account, NCS underscore mascot, and come out to support us in town next Friday. Okay, well, thanks, thanks for calling, Libby. Um, can you just tell us a little bit why about... Uh, this is Libby from NCS Mascot, uh, the launch of a new campaign to highlight the problems that uh, men have with mental health because it affects everybody, and particularly men struggle with it sometimes because men really, they, uh, they tend to hide the feelings, don't they, Libby? Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on men sort of keep everything bottled up and sort of not, gee, 
And I think it's important for them to sort of speak out because we're not going to know what's wrong if they don't tell us. Yeah, I know. I've, I've certainly a couple of weeks ago I spoke about my own issues um, with mental health, depression, anxiety. It, it took me a long time to be able to recognise that it was happening to me, and it was only when I actually told people what was going on with me that I actually started to make some progress. It, it, it's not easy. Uh, would you say there's many groups around for for males then? Um, I, I didn't think there were that many to begin with, but we've been doing a lot of research with our project and there are actually more than than you would think. And uh, is, is there many uh, locally in Manchester? Um, I'm not sure there are any that are Manchester based, but there are a few sort of around the North East, I think. Now you yourselves are based in Salford, are you? Um, the project's based in Salford, yeah. The, the project is, yeah. And can you tell us again, I, I, you, you've got uh, something going on in Altrincham next week. There's an um, event in, uh, on Friday in Manchester and Altrincham, a fancy dress. Yeah, we're, we're based in Altrincham at the minute, that's where we're working. So we're going to go into Manchester next week dressed as like postmen and, and builders and, and workmen to, to highlight that this can happen to anybody. Um, so it's a bit of a fun run because we've learnt that stuff like this it increases like endorphins and just generally makes you feel better. And um, we're trying to make it into a sponsored run, and we'll be doing several other sporting events as well, such as like fun things like a three-legged race or and a wheelbarrow race and things like that. Yeah, I'm okay. okay. And, and like I say, I've, I've suffered badly myself uh, recently. It's I, I, I did feel myself a little embarrassed about what was going on. It, it's very hard to be able to speak up and say, look, this is happening to me. But I mean, take it from me, people, th there's nothing wrong with saying that this is happening to me. I, have you had much uh, feedback from blokes about this in, in the time you've been running? We haven't actually been running very long. We've only been running for a couple of days, so we've yet to see the effect of what it is that we're doing. Right, OK. I, mean, you've, I, I was reading before that uh, in Manchester you've got an event... Uh, a, you, you have a social experiment that's happening in Manchester next, uh, next week. Where yeah. I, I understand you, you, you're going to be taping men's mouth up, which represents them not being able to speak and then asking people what they think is, is wrong with them, because a lot of the time, it, it, it is. The idea is to get men to drop that mask and recognise themselves, maybe, because a lot of people might not recognise what they're suffering in themselves. They might just feel down in, in a particular day. And, uh, yeah, is, do you intend doing more of these sort of social experiments? Because I like that idea. It, it really highlights, metaphorically, what's going on in people's heads. I think if it's effective and we manage to get a message across, we might consider doing more of them. Because we're going to use it, this is one of our, our PSA things that we're going to use as a promotion for the project. So we're hoping to, with their consent, video people giving their answers and identifying that if the men don't speak, then we can't say what's wrong with them. So if it's effective, we, we might consider doing a few more. That would be nice to see, and you'll be uploading these videos to your Facebook page, uh, presumably. Do you have a website as well? I didn't catch what, uh, whether you mentioned the website before. Um, we don't have a website, but we're, we're going to set up a Just Giving page if people want to donate to our sponsored walk. Okay, and um, they can find you on, on Facebook under, what, what was your the um, exact name again? We've got Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, and all, they're all NCS underscore mask off. And this is actually, I, I didn't realise it at first, this is actually run by relatively young people. It is, yeah, we're all, we're all young people. There's no adults involved at all. That, that, that's fantastic. That you, and this is something that you decided yourselves to do, and you, you, have, you, you, you have a passion for it yourself and recognise that this was going on. Well, we're, we're part of the NCS programme, so there's a social action aspect of, of that, so, so we've chosen men's mental health as our topic for it. Yeah, well... But that's fantastic, because like I keep saying, I, I've suffered myself to the extent where 
to be I'll, I'll be honest here, I've I've went through it and I've recently lost a home and everything that was in it simply because I didn't speak out about what was going on for me uh, right at the beginning. I I had a tendency to let things build up and build up, and you reach a point where it just gets too much, and before you know it, it's out of control. I was also reading on your Twitter feed about some statistics of suicides in males. It's quite high. Yeah, um, it's supposed to be about over three quarters of suicides are committed by men. That, that's a shocking amount. It is, yeah. Um, people just don't recognise that this is going on. I'm, I'm not suggesting that... Uh, People see it more as a female problem because we all know that everybody suffers, but it's just simply the fact that males, uh, maybe they're a bit too arrogant and selfish and hard and they just don't want to open up and say, look, I have this problem and I need some help. Because once you say that, then with people like yourselves, the help is out there and it's the best decision you could ever make. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure it's to be with arrogance or selfishness. I think it's just the fact that, that men are conditioned to sort of, they, they've got to be tough. They're not allowed to show any emotion at all. That's the, that's the standard that society sets for them. And that's not how it should be, I don't think. It's, it's not, no. Well, I appreciate your call. Um, we were talking via social media a little earlier on. There's... Um, We'd like to have you in one day, to or your team, to speak about this a little further, because it's certainly a subject that's close to my heart. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who maybe watch this or watch the playback in a couple of days' time, who hopefully we can inspire them to say, look, this is happening to me as well. So... I'd like to thank you, Libby, for your call. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to move on, but thank you for your call. You can contact, M you can contact NCS Mask Off via Twitter and Facebook. And um, I, will, I will speak to you guys again soon, and we'll certainly keep on sharing your updates and stuff. And I'd, I'd ask everybody out there to do it as well, because the more we can highlight these problems that are going on, the better place people will be to deal with them. Would you agree with that, Libby? Um, I do agree, yeah. It's one of the main things that we wish to achieve with this campaign. It's the more messages we get out there, the more people that will see it and, and the more people that will be encouraged to get help. Indeed, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk a little more uh, this evening about it, but for now, Libby, I, I'll say thank you for your call and maybe we'll speak again sometime. But please keep in touch with us. If there's any way we can help you, then let us know. We're, we're here for the community. We're altering the news, but we're not just altering the focus. We're here to help everybody, and we'd be more than happy to help you guys out in the future. Thank you. All right, Libby, thank you for your call. We'll Bye. speak to you again soon. Bye now. So there you go. That was Libby from NCS Maskoff. Um, they've set up a new campaign recently to get men to open up about mental health issues. All I can do, I'm, I'm doing this off the top of my head, and all I can do is tell you a little bit more about Andy and the person behind Andy. Um, I, I, I've been through all sorts, PTSD, I've been told, um, there was even a suggestion. I don't, I don't know whether I'll go there at the moment. I sometimes find this difficult to talk about. Um, as I, I'm, I'm finding it a little bit difficult to talk about it now, but I'm, I'm going to persevere. Incidentally, if you, if you want to join in, uh, I'm, I'm watching the comments here. Uh, mm -hmm. Please do join in with the comments if, if you, you'd like to um, join in. Okay, Rita. Hi, Rita. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Sean, it's not selfish, uh, it's because they do not want to show their emotions for fear of ridicule or embarrassment. Yeah, I think that's the thing, Sean. I certainly felt embarrassed when I was going through it, still am to an extent. Mm. It, it's the fear of what people... I, I, I'll, I'll admit that an ex-girlfriend of mine, had uh, her mother was always complaining 
about depression and anxiety and I'll hold my hands up. I, I used to think, what's the matter with you? You have three holidays a year, get on with it. And it, it was only when I went through it myself that I realised how personal it was. And you try and explain to somebody exactly what's going on up there. There isn't a single person in the whole of the world that will experience it exactly the way you do. And that's what makes it so difficult. Because when you speak to somebody about these sort of issues, you always come away thinking, oh, I wish you'd said this, I could have said that, I could have said the other. And it sits up there even longer than it did in the first place. And that's why people like NCS Mask Off, which is a fantastic idea, the name, of course, is Remove the Mask open up and tell people what's going on. You don't want to end up in a situation that I've been through. Like I say, I recently lost my app pretty much for the last few weeks. I own a couple of carry bags of clothes because of what I've been through. I could have done something about it, but the anxiety that pulls at you, the depression. There was a Christmas a couple of years back where I spent from a couple of days before Christmas until New Year. The only time I got out of bed was to go and put the kettle on. I didn't feel there was anything to get out of bed for. I, I, I wasn't eating. Um, it, it, it was just a shocking feeling. You can't describe that pull that you feel on the inside there. And I'd hate to think that people are going through this when there is support and there is help out there. Uh, hi Katrina, who's just joined us. Please do join in with the comments. We're going to be here for a little while. Uh, we are having a few issues tonight. The electricity and the trams rumbling past. do not do my nose any good. <coughs> but yeah, the support is out there, guys. All you need to do is reach out and, and take it. And people like NCS Maskoff, they're trying the hardest to, to get you to come forward and say, look, this is happening to me. It's the hardest thing in the world to do. I know. I've been through it. I'm a pro panelog king. I, the, the only thing that worked for me is pro panelog helps me. It takes away the anxiety. I also find that talking, it helps so much. If people don't know what's going on for you, what can they do for you? It's, you know, it, it's quite simple. Hi Chris, how are you doing? Chris Up Yakison, our, our mate over there. <coughs> I'll recap a little bit on what NCS Moskov were, were saying a little earlier there. They're going to conduct a social experiment in Manchester. Uh, to highlight the problem of depression, anxiety and mental health in men. And it's a very clever way of doing it. Uh, they'll be putting videos of this experiment online where they'll be taking up the mouths of men and asking people if they understand what's wrong with them. And I bet now that most people will have absolutely no idea. It doesn't enter the head that men might be going through these issues and as, and, and as I say, I've been through it myself, I can relate to it. I, I wish I could put in words how I felt, but it, it's just so impossible to do so. There is the help out there. Myself as a male, I, I was a typical stereotype. I, I didn't want to talk about it. Not that I felt I was too butch. I mean, look at me. Butch? No. <laughs> <laughs> My, my, Joe, my producer's laughing at me now. Do, do you agree with that or something? Oh, thank you for that vote of confidence from behind the camera there. I need a new producer. <laughs> this, this one's hissing me. But, no, it, it's not... Guys, come on. If it's happening to you, tell somebody about it. it, it, it talking makes such a difference. Um... Uh, are, are we okay over there, Joe? Because I still yeah. seem to be having issues here. Everything is falling apart tonight. We've got lights out, we've got phones that mm -hmm. don't work. 
Is this from comment from Rita Grinder? It says, Andy, you would not have had lots of invites over Christmas. Don't be on your own, please. Rita, <coughs> I appreciate that. But, honestly, Rita, the, the hardest thing to do... I didn't feel the motivation. I, 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 it didn't matter to me whether it was... At, at the time, my dad was suffering with Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, I was running all over the place for him. I, I had pretty much 10 years of one thing to another happening. I climbed up only to be knocked back down again. Um, it, it's just so difficult. So, uh, Rita, I, mean, <coughs> I, I appreciate that, but you try telling some of these people who are in that situation, but well, you can't tell them because they don't speak up about it and, and people don't know. <coughs> That's the lesson I learnt, that you need to speak up about it, incidentally. Hi, Rach, thank you for joining us. Uh, it's a bit messy tonight, Rach. We've got electrical and technical issues that, that, that need sorting out. A bit of a panic, but we're here. We're here. Um, yeah, so I, I spent this Christmas just, and, and to an extent now as well, but there's so many things that I should be doing right now to get things back in order and get back on top of things, but have I? No, I haven't. It's demoralising. It's, it just takes you down so hard. And this is coming from a bloke. Remember, blokes suffer this as well, which is the point MCS Mascot are trying to make. Please support them. They're on Twitter, they're on Facebook. You, you'll see the posts on our page. Some of the st statistics, can you say that? I'll try again. Some of the statistics that I've been reading from NCS mascot, shocking. So, such a big proportion of suicides in this country are men. And you wouldn't think so. I actually had a discussion with somebody last night about this. And I, I'm not dissing them in any way, but it was just a typical stereotypical view where yeah okay so this support this ncs mascot is, is there for men but what about the woman about what about the women as a bloke i'm not suggesting that there's too much help for women i'm, I'm not saying that at all that the help is out there the point i'm making is it's also there for blokes guys get over yourself don't worry about it Open up. You're only human. You have these feelings just like everybody else does and it's nothing to be ashamed of. You, that first step is the biggest step you'll ever take. And once you take that step, you will absolutely never look back. It's not easy and sometimes it can be a long, long walk and a lonely one at like that. But once you take that first step, then... You're on the road to getting it right. Could take years. I was told by my doctor, I was expecting when I first approached the doctor after the bad Christmas I had, I, I was expecting that, I, I, he, he prescribed me some tablets, so I tried a few different ones before I found Propranolol that did it for me, hit the spot for me. It took away that horrible feeling, that anxiety, that emptiness, that pull that you feel right there and it, it took me so long to be able to just, doctor was only five minutes down the road and I had people saying to me, do you want me to contact the doctor, I'll do it for you and I was always, no you're alright, I'll be okay, but I knew that I wasn't okay and Still not, but I feel in a better place now because I recognise what was going on up there. And once you know what's going on up there, then, well, like I say, that's your first step to, to uh, recovery. 
Fox, I, I suppose. Uh, Mrs. Producer over there, is there, is there much going on? Because I think I have frozen over here. I'm not seeing much happening at all. It'd be nice if you guys joined in. Please, please do join in with comments. It, really. No more comments at the moment. So, okay. Okay then. <coughs> Well, it looks as though it's going to be a little bit of a short one. Guys over there, NCS mascot, thank you for your call earlier on. It would be great if we could get you in here and talk more one-to-one -one on, uh, on the famous Altingham News County. It's a little bit taxi here and there, but aren't we all? <coughs> so it would be great to get you guys uh, down here and talk a little bit more about uh, men's issues. Because, you yeah, know, well, Going through it myself, what can I say? It, it's absolutely horrible. <coughs> it, it covers all sorts of different afflictions. PTSD in particular. I was surprised to be told that I was suffering PTSD. It became more commonly known in the Vietnam War, the soldiers um, struggling with what had been so ingrained, the horrors they'd seen had been so ingrained in the mind that they just couldn't escape it. And I've heard it said, and it's right, that it isn't the people not being able to let go of the past. It's the past that doesn't let go of the people. I am finding it difficult to talk to you guys about this right now. But that's what's doing me some good. It's getting it out. Guys out there, look, what I'm doing here is exactly what you need to do. You, you need to talk about this. I've spoken about this to people and boom, just like that, in floods of tears. It's okay. You're only human. If that's what it takes, then that's what you need to do. Nobody's going to take the piss out of you for it. Don't be silly, guys. Come on, I'm now talking guy language here. Nobody is going to take the piss out of you. These people are there to help you. Take it from me that, that the help is there. Um, I know a lot of blokes do suffer with these sort of issues. And it's no good. Take the mask off, guys. Let people know what's going on. You ladies as well, I, I know it applies to you as well. Take the mask off, talk to people, let people know what's happening for you. And you're on the road to your recovery there. You, you can do something about it. Once you recognise yourself that it's going on up there, it is the hardest thing in the world to do, <clears throat> to admit that you have these problems. I am struggling with this tonight guys. I'm feeling it a little bit. The more I talk about it, the more I feel it. It is difficult to talk about. But guys and girls, open up, take the mask off, talk about it. Have a look what these guys on Twitter are saying, NCS mask off, on Twitter, on Facebook. Uh, we were told a little earlier on that there will be a, a website coming along. Uh, they're doing a, a, a fancy dress of one. They're going to be in Altrincham uh, next Friday. So watch out for them. Show them your support. Help these guys out. <coughs> if you're aware of somebody who is going through these issues, talk to them. Ask them what's going on. They might not want to talk to you, but... At least they'll go away thinking, knowing that there's people recognise what's going on and the help is out there. So, guys, I could cover a lot more about this and what I've been through. I, I might return to it again um, another time. <coughs> I'll say again, I, I can't emphasise how important it is, guys, to take that mask off. These people are particularly aiming their campaign at blokes, because us blokes, I, I'm 
perhaps from the stats I've been reading, I, I, I will stick my neck out and say quite possibly that the biggest majority of sufferers could well be blokes. I, I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think once you take that mask off, um, it's uncovered how many people are actually suffering through this. It would be surprising how many of them are blokes. It's only recently, I guess, that people were really starting to recognise mental health problems. I wonder myself how long I've been um, suffering this sort of stuff. I'm, I'm not going to give my age away, and I'm younger than a seal, but I'm, uh, I'm uh, my producer knows where I'm going here, and she's smirking at me, but um, I'm no spring chicken, I, I, I'd like to think I'm a lot younger than I, I actually am, and I, I wonder, have I been going through this for longer than I actually recognise, because there are things when I think back now, to position them in now, Relating that to situations in the past, it makes me wonder whether I've actually been going through this for much longer than I actually realise. Particularly in my case, I suppose, like I say, with me being no spring chicken, it's possible that way back then, these sort of issues were just not as widely recognised as they are now. Maybe that's the problem here. Uh, how do I go about it? Uh, Rita, I'm, I'm sorry, I've waffled so much. How do you go about what? I'm sorry, Rita. Give me a reminder. <coughs> Excuse me, give me a reminder and I'll try and, I'll, I'll try and tell you. <coughs> Hi, Alison, joined us. You late? We're, we're, we're going to believe in you in a minute or so, but you've just joined us. Um... Yeah, Rita, how do you go about what? I'm sorry. Uh, remind me what, what in particular I, I said. So, guys, we, we've been half an hour, 35 minutes already. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm going to recap a little bit and then leave it there for the, uh, for the, for the night. How, how do you go about meeting me and Chris? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, Rita, we'll speak to you tomorrow. We're, we're going to be seeing you tomorrow at the Altering and Bloom Judges at, uh, Judges at some point, I understand. So, uh, talk to us, uh, talk to us then. Chris, nine years for you. Mm -hmm. Chris, have, have, have you been going through these issues? Chris, tell me, have, have you been going through these issues? Have you learned to speak up about it? Did you find it difficult? While we're still here, Chris, please let me know. Let's let give these guys some encouragement to drop that mask and, and talk about it a little more. Uh, you, you may find what I'm saying here a, a, a little bit self-pitying. It isn't that at all. I, I'm just trying to relate my experiences so that somebody else might be able to learn from them. Uh, I, I hate to think that people are going through this when I've learned that you don't need to go through it on your own. It gets so much easier to talk about it once you take that initial step. I, I said earlier that that first step is going to be the biggest step that you take, and it, it really is. It'll be the best thing you ever did. And I'll say again, that, that road, the route you take, not necessarily going to be easy, and it's not necessarily going to be a short one. But, um, yeah, take that step and tell people what's going on. As they used to say in the BT advert, was it back when, uh, I'm going to show my age now, when Busby was about, Mrs. Producer, do you remember Busby from the BT? Oh, God, there we go. No, she yeah. like, what the hell are you talking about? What about if you see Sid tell him? Do you remember that? There's one for you. That is showing my age. You don't yeah. remember that. If you see Sid, tell him. No, I've yeah. got the faintest yeah. idea what I'm talking about. Uh, Chris, you still do suffer these issues, but you're a lorry driver. 
I guess that can be quite uh, a struggle if, if you're spending long times on your own. If, I, I, I can imagine you're sat in the cab there dwelling on it, which, I don't know, it eats away at you. But by the sounds of it, Chris, you, you've been able to stand up and say, well, look, this is happening to me. Um, good on you for that. That's, uh, I, I respect you for that, Chris. I, I, I really do. So, as I say, to, to recap again, NCS Mask Off, they have launched this new campaign in the last few days to encourage folks to take off that mask. You don't need it. Tell people what's going on for you. Tell them what's going on up there. Ladies, you as well. It is, I mean, look, let me just get a quick female point of view on this. Uh, producer Joe, would you say it's easier for women than it is for blokes to talk about these sort of issues? It's probably the same, hard. It can yeah. be, it, it's not easy to talk about it at all, especially yeah. with it being so personal. And, uh, yeah. I'm talking, and despite how it might appear, I'm actually talking myself into uh, a little bit of a, a state that I'd rather not be in, and that's one of the ways that it gets you. So, we're running at 40 minutes now. NCS Mask Off on Facebook and Twitter. You can see some of the posts on our page. Please, please show them your support. They're doing some fantastic work to, to raise awareness. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, Alison here saying, yeah, we, Alison says that women definitely find it easier coming from somewhere who's been there and done it. Yeah, I, I, I know personally what Alison's been through and um, I, I also know how much Alison struggled with it and some of the ways that she, she dealt with it. Um, you've got to speak up about these things. The, the, the help is there. I think what I think what we uh, thank you, Teresa. Uh, a message off the page there, telling me that I'm doing great tonight. Thank you for your support, uh, Teresa. <coughs> I I think perhaps given the feedback I, I got last time when I spoke about this, um, given the support we're seeing on the page here tonight, I I think maybe it'd be nice to bring a couple of other people in and maybe talk about their own experiences. Maybe I can get the ball rolling a little bit with this. Would you like to come and just sit down and forget that camera's there? Just come and have a chat about your own experiences and I kind of fly on the wall thing and you guys out there can just listen in and I'm, I'm sure it'd help you. Maybe that's something we can look into. If it's something you'd like to see happen then let us know and we'd certainly get onto that next week perhaps because these are Wednesdays that I'm doing. We're leaving open for all sorts of subjects. Last Wednesday was a little bit crazy, a little bit of a rant on my part, because I will tell it how it is when it comes to altering him, as you well know, but I won't touch on that subject uh, tonight. I think he did enough of that. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I think he did enough of that back uh, last Wednesday. Uh, Katrina, such an inspiration. Thank you so much for letting us talk. Katrina, you're welcome. I'm so impressed with the work that you guys are doing, particularly that it's a group of young people that are they're doing this on their own. They, they recognise what, what's going on in, in, in people's heads. It's a crazy, crazy place. You're, it was once thought that your brain when you reach a certain age, it stopped making connections up there. And it's only in recent years that the, the medical professional or whatever have recognised that now, that's not the case. You, you, your brain is always making new connections. And if these connections are made while you're under stress, while there's bad things going on in your life, 
then maybe it doesn't get wired right. There's nothing wrong with that. It's what happens. It's no different to something going wrong with your heart, your liver, your big toe, whatever the case may be. It's just another organ in the body and things go wrong with it. This is nothing to be ashamed of. Stand up, speak out, let people know what's going on. You don't want to see yourself go down the route that I went down where recently living out of a couple of carrier bags after 10 years. No good. No good guys. You don't want to go there at all. I found that actually doing this, being involved with Ultimate News, it's something I enjoy doing. I have a media history, uh, media advertising going back to the 80s in radio. It's something I've always wanted to get back into. And it gave me something to focus on, something I enjoy doing. And to be honest, it's sometimes something that I do rather than concentrate on other things that I should be doing. But I guess that's part of the anxiety issues and the depression. There you go. Guys, I think I'm going to leave it there for tonight. We've been for, I've waffled for 45 minutes. Um, I'll be honest, I'm struggling talking about this more than may actually be evident to you. So just once more, let's give them a plug. NCS Mask Off, Facebook and Twitter. They try to raise awareness in mental health in particular, I suppose, particularly in blokes. Because guys, there's no shame in admitting that you're struggling. Take it from me, I've been there. Let people know what's going on. And maybe next week, in the coming weeks, we can... Would you like to join us? Would you like to come and sit here right next to me and discuss with me what's been going on in your head? It'll help me, it'll help you, and hopefully it'll help some other people out there. So let's see what we can do to bring this to the surface where, where it belongs because mental health problems are, are a big, big problem particularly in, in today's society with the pressures and the pace of today's society. So thank you once more to Libby for the call earlier on. We, we'll speak to you again about this Libby. We'll keep in contact with you guys. Uh, certainly share your updates on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, yeah, so I think we're going to leave it there for now before I burst into flux of... Uh, before lots of tears. Tomorrow night, uh, I understand you're going to be catching up with Chris again on his walk around 8 o'clock tomorrow night. I will be back here with Chris 8 o'clock on Sunday. Altering him in bloom judging tomorrow. Watch out for that. If you see the guys going around, give them a hand. We'll be out and about with Altering him. If you see us, give us a wave. Keep that town tidy. Alright, there's people out there tonight tidying the town for you guys to try and get that gold medal in the Britain in Bloom competition. So, show them your support. Show our Ultra Mini support who are behind all this. Ultra Mini in Bloom, they do a fantastic job. Down there on our page you'll see a couple of times that we shared Ultra Mini in Bloom's page. Please give them a like, give them a follow on Twitter. As with MCS Mascot. They're doing a fantastic job. Thank you again, Libby. I'm going to leave it there. And I will see you guys again on Sunday. Right here with Chris. So until then, guys, speak out a little bit. And I'll see you all again soon. Take care, all